Hi, this is Joe Ludlow. Uh, I'm going to show you what uh, repiping the hardest job in the state of California looks like. Notice everything is staged and prepped for the drywall guy. The point is to get him done in half the time. So here we go. Notice the cut above the hot water heater. Everything is done perfectly. Let's see how the rest of the house went. It's all configured brand new. Brand new pressure regulator and hose bib. And then the supply line feeding the rest of the house. So now let's take a look at the house. And there's your hole. That's your washing machine. Notice uh, no other holes. No other holes in this room. So let's check out the next bathroom. We'll check out the master. There's your shower valve. One hole. Double headed shower. You can see over here and over here. We changed both shower valves. Let me get let me do this here. So you can see that it's actually a double shower valve. Double sink. Keep in mind that this house got repiped yesterday and got the inspection yesterday afternoon. And there's the holes for your double sink. Let me turn turn this light on so you can see it better. Okay. This is for your double sink. So you have those three holes there. So in the master bedroom and bathroom, you have a total of four holes. Now we're going to look at the laundry sink. And there is the piping and the two holes for the laundry sink. Now let's take a look at the hall bathroom. Let me get the light on. Now this is toilet piping, the sink piping, and I'm going to check on the other side see if we change this valve out. Now. By the way, look under this toilet, and it's cut out perfectly. So, notice that what we did in here is we pulled the mirrors down and did all the work behind the mirrors. So now when you do the drywall patches, there's absolutely nothing to paint in here. This is a bathroom sink. Now... We're going to show you how we repipe the kitchen. So now I'm going to show you how we did the island sink. Made a cut here. We piped it down underneath. Picked up the ice maker box. Came over and came up underneath the kitchen sink right here. So in the kitchen area, we'll take a look around so you can see how few holes there are. That is the back hose bib that feeds all the water supply to the back of the house. How's everything going? There's a small drip on the fountain in here, up from the faucet in here. Is that... 
Okay, we'll take care of it. What happens is, this is a good example. When you're doing repiping, sometimes you take the water pressure and you, you take the pressure down and everything in the system has been under pressure for years. Yeah. So what happens is a little piece of calcium uh, that builds up on the copper will uh, break loose and get inside there. And what's done is, done is it's got inside one of the cartridges. So I'll have the guys stop by on Monday and we'll take care of that for you. It'll take okay. them all five minutes. Good, good. Okay. And um, do you send me a receipt? Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. And okay. uh, unconditional lien releases. Good. Everything. Good. So uh, I'm videotaping your house right now. What would you say to customers? Did we do our job? Oh, your job was tremendous. The guys were so neat and thorough and so cooperative. Well, thank you very much. And now, if you had another house that you had to repipe, would you use us again? Of course I would. Of okay. Course. I'd highly recommend you. Oh, thank you very much. Well, there you have it. Uh, it's a uh, repiping in San Clemente. Uh, big, very expensive homes. Every one of them are absolutely pristine. There's 79 of them in here, and we're doing them all. Now you know what they look like. And um, that's give you a realistic view of my repiping world. Um, every once in a while, you'll get something where you have a drip like that, and you've got to come back and take care of it. And usually, when you uh, fire the system back up, uh, to be honest with you, it doesn't start dripping at that time. What happens is you'll use the valve um, later that day or the next day and just a little piece of grain, and it's not, it's just calcium, uh, will get in that uh, cartridge and cause it to drip like that. It's a 10 minute fix, five minute fix, um, but you run into that occasionally. The other thing that happens is toilets. There's a diaphragm on the top of the Balcock Tower and what happens is when you pressure down the system, after being under pressure for years, they, they form a shape. And when you take the water pressure down, they collapse. Uh, six hours, eight hours later, you recharge the system, but they just do not retain that original uh, shape again because they were allowed to collapse. So sometimes it'll cause that hissing sound and uh, the water will run continuously. It's a $6 part, and I'm sorry, but $6 parts do not last forever. Uh, you gotta change them out once in a while. It does happen, but that is the reality of repiping. Uh, those are the two issues that happen, and it's 100% common, and uh, we take care of it 100% uh, of the time. That's why after 23 years of repiping, I've never had a complaint, and I've never had a bad review. I triple dog dare you to beat that.